Some people refuse to leave, but others are not able to leave the danger. Dr. Eric Sommerfeld from the University of Maryland joins us now to talk a little bit more about this. I mean, as we watch this monster storm that's barreling, you would think that most people are like, okay, I'm going to get out. But that's not always the case. You would think that would be the case, but fear is not always a good predictor of people evacuating from their homes. Neither is really anxiety of the willingness to evacuate. Many people feel that they have a sense that the hurricane will not be as bad as the experts actually say it's going to be, so they rely on their own intuition rather than what the experts are telling them. Like we've heard it go from Category 5 to Category 4, and people are like, oh, it's a 4 now. And by they say by the time it'll reach me, it'll be a Category 2 or a Category 3, so it won't really be much of a bother for me, so they choose to remain in their homes. Uh, many people will also not evacuate for fear they have nowhere to go. But if they don't have an extensive uh, friendship network or family network outside of the evacuation zone, they may choose not to evacuate. Mm -hmm. Many people don't want to go to a shelter uh, for fear of the shelters being full, for fear of there not being a place for them to sleep. And frankly, media portrayals of the shelters are not very helpful for getting people, uh, getting folks to leave their homes. Because it doesn't look like a great place to be? Exactly, right. And we know that people with higher education and income will prefer to leave and feel they have the capacity to leave and stay in hotels and motels rather than go to shelters. So the government, local officials, meteorologists, uh, uh, you know, President Trump has talked about it. Uh, people say you got to heed the warnings, you got to protect yourself. Is, does the government do a good enough job? Is there anything more that they can do? Seems to me they're doing a lot. I think we've done a lot, a lot better in warning people about the uh, effects of hurricanes. I think with Irma coming on the heels of Harvey, government warnings are going to be a lot more effective in motivating people to leave their homes and getting to safety. Uh, but frankly, government rhetoric has been a lot more uh, harsh and has tried to intimidate and then scare people. And I'm not really sure if scaring people to leave will actually work. What we know will work is providing people with valuable, instructive information. We also know that there are people who simply can't go. Uh, let's talk about, I mean, are these people who may, might be physically unable to move, or, or what? why would they stay? Absolutely. People who tend to be living on their own or without extensive friendship or family networks, elderly people, people without a vehicle. Uh, we, knew, we know that from Hurricane Katrina, people could not evacuate until they got their Friday paycheck. And by the time they got their Friday paycheck, it was too late yeah. to leave, so they simply couldn't afford to get out. Um, so that might be the case here as well, remains to be seen. Uh, but we know that uh, older people, single people, people without children will choose to weather the storm uh, rather than leave. All right. Uh, there's more I would love to ask you about. We're out of time, unfortunately. Thank you very much, Dr. Summerfield. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it.